ready to learn about flowers and science? Woo woo woo, I know I am. So let's start. What's inside a flower? Flowers live everywhere. They bloom in bustling cities, lush jungles, soggy swamps, blistering deserts, and high up on rocky mountaintops. Flowers are found growing on trees, in orchards, on the vines of fruits, in grassy fields, and in fancy gardens. Let's see what this little bee has to say. Vegetables with seeds are scientifically considered fruit. Flowers come in many colors, shapes, and sizes. But how does a flower grow? Why do flowers bloom on plants? What's inside a flower? Science will help us answer those questions. A flower starts as a seed underground. The seeds will begin to grow roots and its first leaves. Above ground and below, bugs, bacteria, and fungi all munch, crunch, and wiggle their way through the dirt. These are called decomposers. Decomposers eat waste like garbage, dead things, and poop. By breaking down waste, decomposers make new soil. Soil is the perfect place for a seed to grow into a flower. The flower's roots spread deep into the ground, keeping the plant sturdy so it can grow tall. Rich soil has water and minerals that a plant needs to grow. Rainwater soaks into the soil and travels down to the roots. The minerals in the soil help the plant grow strong and the root hairs slurp up the water and minerals. A flower stem grows out of the soil. Water and minerals from under the ground travel up through the stem to the rest of the plant. The stem holds up the plant's leaves and flowers high above the ground. Leaves are food for many animals. Now let's see what's going on there. Look, an aphid is having a snack while a ladybug stalks its tiny prey. Roar! Leaves have the special job of absorbing sunshine. Plants turn sunlight into food in a process called photosynthesis. Turning sunlight into food is a plant superpower. During photosynthesis, plants also make fresh air. Carbon dioxide from the air goes in and fresh oxygen comes out. Plants make the oxygen in the air that everyone breathes. <sighs> Just like people need food to grow big and strong, a flower needs sunshine, water, and minerals to grow. When a flowering plant gets big enough, buds will appear. Each bud opens little by little until it blooms into a beautiful flower. Look inside a flower to see where seeds are made. The stamen makes fluffy grains called pollen. The pistil has a sticky stigma and tiny egg cells called ovules. A new seed can only grow when pollen lands on a flower's stigma. This is called pollination. A few types of flowers can make seeds all by themselves. Most flowers need pollen to come from another plant to make seeds. This is called cross-pollination. Many flowers need help to be pollinated. Some flowers rely on the wind to spread their pollen. Other flowers use animals. These animals are called pollinators. Flowers create nectar that many pollinators love to eat. Bees, butterflies, birds, and bats all reach inside the flowers for a tasty treat. 
the pollen sticks to their bodies. And as the pollinator snacks from flower to flower, they spread pollen to help to create seeds. Flowers attract pollinators in different ways. Many flowers have colorful petals. These are like neon signs saying nectar's here. Some flowers have strong smells to attract pollinators. Night blooming flowers smell especially sweet so pollinators can find them in the dark. A flower's petal shape makes feeding easy for local pollinators. Some petals are shaped like a landing pad for bugs, while other flowers are perfect for long tongues and beaks. The more pollinators that visit a flower, the more chances there are for a seed to be made. Many plants use seeds to reproduce and spread new plants around the world. Flowers create new seeds through pollination. Pollen lands on a flower's stigma and grows a tiny tube to travel down to an ovule, an egg cell. This is how pollen begins to fertilize an ovule. When the pollen grain and the ovule join, a brand new seed begins to grow. As the seed gets bigger, the flower begins to change. Petals wilt and fall as a fruit or pod grows to protect the precious seed. The fruits, husks, and pods that protect seeds come in all different shapes and sizes. Time passes and seeds become ready to be planted. Some seeds will burst out of their pods and grow wherever they fall. Other seeds will be eaten by animals and scattered when they poop. Seeds travel near and far. They roll down hills, fly on the wind, and float away in water. Some seeds have wings that help them glide. Some seeds are hard and heavy. There are even seeds with hooks to catch a ride on a passerby. Once a seed finds a spot in the soil, a new plant will grow and a new flower will bloom. We have learned how each part of a flower does an important job. Seeds are made inside the flower. The petals help attract pollinators. The leaves absorb sunlight to make food. The stem holds the plant up tall and the roots slurp up the water and the minerals in the soil. We also learn that flowers do important things for everyone. A flower seeds help spread new plants all over the world. Plants make fresh air. Flowers grow into food for people and animals. Plants do countless other things. Shade, beauty, animal habitats. What will you plant in your garden? What will you grow? Yummy tomatoes? Sweet smelling lavender? A giant sunflower? Whatever you plant in your garden will be lovely because you know what's inside a flower and you understand the science that makes flowers special. Happy flowers mean a happy earth for you and me. Thank you.